Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who don't know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm going to be doing an anti-haul. I have kind of not been really keeping up on a ton of stuff that has come out and so recently I looked through the Trend Mood Instagram and I found several products that I was like, no, that's not ever coming in my collection. I don't need that. There's no need for it. And we're going to talk about this. Some of them are releasing soon, so I know the prices. I know a little more about them. Some of them are just things that are coming out soon, and they're trying to hype it up. So we are going to talk about this. The first one should come as no surprise. It's the Laura Lee Nudie Patootie Eyeshadow Palette, which is $45. She also came out with... Liquid lipsticks, $16 each. Nakey Nakey, topless Jaybird, and two eye pencils, $14 each, black and nude. So with this whole collection, I was kind of, in all honesty, I'm gonna be real, with the last palette that came out, I was hoping she was going to do something a little more impressive. This palette is so boring in my opinion. There are several other palettes like it. I have a couple in my collection from when I first started doing makeup that are these nude tones, very boring. Secondly, who, I mean, that'll work on maybe my skin tone and lighter, but what about people with deeper skin tones? I mean, I just don't get it. I don't understand how at one point she can, you know, point out that, oh, there need to be wider shades or da 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 or talk about shades in videos and things like that and then go and make her own collection and not have it at least be inclusive or usable on darker skin tones so it, it just kind of the whole thing I'm just I'm not about it it's okay it's not like oh my gosh I must get that that's an amazing eyeshadow palette it's just like eh, it's okay next is the Smashbox cover Shot Palette Pinks and Palms. It, it's their $29 palette. And I don't, I've tried a couple of like Smashbox eyeshadows and things and I'm just not into the formula. I don't know what it is about Smashbox. I have, I think the only thing I like from Smashbox is the Radiance Primer and the foundation stick that I have. That is about it. Everything else I'm kind of like, eh. And I mean, I like the color story behind this palette. I do think it is a very beautiful color story. I just am not, I don't know, I think I have so many colorful eyeshadows right now that just things are not pulling me. And I'm trying to have a more discerning eye when I purchase things. So I think when things like that come out, I'm just kind of like, okay, it's pretty. It has a great color story, but do I like the formula? Do I use a lot of things from those brands? Is that a brand that I can trust? Sorry, I am like all over the place. <laughs> Next is the BH Cosmetics Marvy Corn Palette. 1750, 10 eyeshadows and three highlighters. What? <laughs> I am a person who really likes BH Cosmetics. I have a ton of stuff from BH Cosmetics. I talk about BH Cosmetics all the time on my channel. But what the heck is this? Marvy Corn. What is that from? Is that from something and I'm just totally missing it? Let me know down below. But when I saw that they were coming out with a unicorn eyeshadow palette, I was just like, I'm walking away. Nope. That will never be added to my collection. I just, I'm over the unicorn thing. Like, drop it. Unicorns and mermaids need to go. I'm sorry if you're a person who loves unicorns and mermaids and you are really excited about that palette. It is just not something for me. The Tatcha, the Pearl Tinted Illuminating Eye Treatment for $48. That price. Um, that price. I, I don't I don't I don't know what to do with that. Also I don't I don't yeah. Why is it a tinted eye treatment? I guess it takes a step out. It's like putting two steps together. But I I I just I don't know. There it's also pearl. Does that mean that it's going to make fine lines and stuff show on my under eye? I mean I have glitter on my under eyes right now and that was by choice. But I don't 
always like my eye treatments or anything really to have a shimmer to it under my eyes. I like that to be kind of matte. And so that just kind of, I was like, yeah, that's not something I need. Next up is the L'Oreal Cherry My Cherie Eyeshadow Palette. No, why is L'Oreal coming out with scented makeup, by the way? Why is that now a thing with drugstore stuff? Scented makeup. I'm over it. I'm done. No more scented makeup. Just a side note. But this palette, I have all of these shades and I have them in better formulas, in my opinion. Next up is the Urban Decay Light Beam Palette. I have never been so underwhelmed by anything by Urban Decay than I am by this. I am super... It is... I'm just super bored by it. I want Urban Decay to come out with more pizzazz. I mean, their brand is called Urban Decay. Like, let's let's do something. Let's 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 be innovative. Let's do something. And it's funny because when I first got into makeup, I was all about Urban Decay. Now I'm just kind of like, Urban Decay who? Urban Decay what? Why do I need Urban Decay? I don't know. That was the last item. Let me know what you guys think down below. Am I crazy? Should I pick some of these up? but I just, I don't feel like I need them in my collection. I don't feel like they're, you know, pulling me in. You must get these items. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so that you know when I post. I do post daily. So there are tons of videos here. There's something for everyone. I do everything from tutorials to really chatty videos. So yeah. Well, thanks again, and I do hope you have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and bye!